Thank you. So, so as of today morning, like uh, we have uh, 68 organizations uh, across uh, many different uh, continents uh, and, and countries. Uh, they are a part of this consortium that is very good. In fact, since yesterday, the, the count has been increasing. So this is a very positive sign. And uh, uh, these are again the broad objective of the MCCP um, uh, to organize information exchange, uh, define agenda and goals of the community, uh, to create data and computing assets, including data commons and tools for the consortium, large MBDS community, outline the clear and tangible value positions and outputs. And, and of course, we want to get engaged with uh, organizations, uh, all different kinds of organizations, uh, academic institutions, companies, uh, Midwest and, and beyond uh, to, uh, to have a very successful agenda. And yesterday we gave a very uh, high level overview here. Um, the, what we are currently doing, this is the workshop one. Uh, and uh, maybe in the late summer this year, uh, we'll try to do the workshop two. And then towards the fall, um, we'll try to do uh, workshop three. Um, so maybe here I'll hand it over to um, uh, Anil. Um, so this he will define the theme of this current workshop and talk about what happened yesterday and what is going to happen today. Thank you. Thank you, DK. So I wanted to thank all the participants yesterday and all the speakers who uh, presented, you know, uh, the theme was around building convergence. So we had really good discussions about it during the talks and even after in the breakout room. So I appreciate everyone's input. And uh, for those who are, of you who are joining us today, the purpose of this workshop number one is to focus on convergence, to combine the strengths of pathologists and computational scientists, have them work together, you know, introduce collaborations, try to build, build on uh, projects that these individuals are doing or institutes are doing and see if they can work together. Because as we know, you know, listening to speakers from yesterday, all this is critical for these collaborations to occur. So our goal is to try to facilitate that with the help of this workshop, create better understanding of the gaps that are in these two areas. So next slide. So I think we did a good job and, and we touched on a lot on big data. We touched a lot on whole slide images. We focused on annotations and the issues with annotations and predictions. And if you listen to all, this, all the speakers, and again, we, we will have those talks available to all the attendees. They, there will be links on the website and, and we're gonna also have the recordings available. So, but but we're gonna to try to build on that today with our speakers who are going to focus on, it, on, on today. And again, the areas span across digital pathology, machine learning, AI, human machine teaming. You're going to hear more about human machine teaming today. You're gonna to hear about more about big data management and high performance computing outreach. So again, all those are aspects of this, which are, we want to continue to highlight throughout this workshop. And again, all, all the participants in this workshop, if you have very specific ideas and you want us to address those in the next next workshop, please send them to DK, Raghu, or Lee or I, and we'll, we'll make sure that we'll incorporate into the program. And we had some really good suggestions from the audience yesterday, and we, we're taking notes and we're gonna make those available to, our, to, to the committee and to the consortium. Next slide. So again, we are registrations, as uh, DK mentioned, they are continuing to, so we are at 240 today. So that's, again, with a little, we haven't really advertised it so much. So this is really incredible for, it attests to the topics and to the timeliness of these uh, discussions that needs to be done to facilitate this. So next slide. So we, we yesterday, uh, as just as, as an overview for those who are joining for the first time today, we had good discussions on by Dr. Belize from Michigan on kidney precision medicine project. He actually showed a tool that was able, he is able to share with colleagues. Uh, and actually this morning he reached out to us and made that tool available to us. So anyone who wants to, again, have discussions about those things, uh, Dr. Besich gave an outstanding talk on computational pathology 
predictive analytics and in and in their discussions in the breakout room those themes were highlighted and there was good discussion between a bit on this and then dr madhavushi from ks western he talked about digital pathomics and he gave a a spectrum of projects des described some of the critical things that are happening in the imaging field in pathology imaging and pathology ai where deep learning is helping prognosticate disease outcomes and he, he gave examples from lung cancer and heart disease and then jason hip and can mcnair from astrazeneca gave their perspective on how it's transforming the industry of drug development and cancer diagnosis and there was a lot of discussion around specifically about cancer diagnosis and how pathologists and digital pathology and computational pathology is playing a key role in these areas and then we heard extensive discussions on placental pathology and machine learning by dr goldstein from northwestern and then we had summed up the day with incredible discussions in the breakout room so today that same theme will same process will continue we're going to have outstanding speakers uh, if you go to the next slide um, we're going to uh, sorry this sl same slide we're going to talk about uh, machine learning in pathology clinic we're going to talk about teammates we're going to talk about flow clustering and molecular insights into large machine learning based model flows focusing in neuropathology area and then we're going to talk about nlp's transformers by dr tezush from university of waterloo and then we're going to follow that up with breakout rooms. There will be two breakout rooms like yesterday. And our focus today will be on human machine learning, machine teaming, and big data management. And we have outstanding moderators for both these rooms. And I think we had the system worked out yesterday about how to move people to be in breakout rooms. So hopefully that should go very smoothly. And we will have uh, folks who will be taking notes. And uh, we're going to be recording this. So I encourage everyone to stay uh, around for the rest of the afternoon or morning or night wherever you are in the world and listen to these talks participate in the discussions you may be a beginner you may be just learning about computational pathology or you may have done some of these projects in your lab but i can assure you that the gaps that will you will see between pathology and computer science will start to uh, break during these workshops, and that's the intent. So with this, I wanted to, uh, again, we're going to talk more about uh, tomorrow in our uh, concluding session, but I want to uh, encourage everyone to stick around and participate. If you missed a session or two, go back and listen to the recording, and we're going to hopefully increase this number of participants in our next workshop. And if you have suggestions and ideas, please send it to the organizers and send it to the webs, to the emails and everything. And I want to thank our sponsors, the Midwest Big Data Hub, the NSF and the Ohio State University. So with this, I'm going to uh, introduce our, our first speaker, our keynote speaker for the day. Uh, let Dr. me share the slides, uh, just hold on. Yeah, if you want to, I don't need any slides for- I know, I know, but, but for people, <laughs> I think uh, uh, others- uh, Everybody knows uh, Raghu. Yeah, no, while we're waiting for that, um, you know, I do think that, um, you know, personally in helping to support this, we may nice have an org chart of the people that are handling uh, various parts of the consortium, the activities, the workshop, the follow on. Um, you know, you obviously have assembled a great team of people to support you, but it's, uh, I'm finding it hard to navigate who's on first, who's on second, who's on third, and what their roles are. If you had some, uh, you know, uh, initial kind of an org chart, uh, who to reach out to for various aspects, like, if, you know, if I have a funding opportunity, I'd like to engage the group in, who, do, who should I speak to? Uh, if I want to introduce a junior person uh, to become part of the group, who do they go to? Uh, and if there are questions about infrastructure, file sharing, data sharing, uh, who should be the person? So if you could map that out for us, it'd be great. Yeah, and I think one of the goals will be to, uh, with this work, first workshop, we're learning to tread the waters, we're learning to seek collaborations. So this will be more visible on our website, this information. You know, we, we have clearly uh, a long way to go, but 
that those organizational aspects will be more visible to you. Uh, and, you know, I think one of the goals will be as you look at your own institute and your own departments to reach out to your faculty and get them engaged in the, in the consortium. Because even yesterday we had informal discussions and loose collaboration opportunities have come up. So this this needs to happen not just between the between our university, but between maybe between Michigan and Pittsburgh or Michigan and Sloan Kettering and others. So I I think our goal is not to be in the center of it all, but make these opportunities available and accessible to all all participants of the consortium. And you yeah, your point is well taken. We'll have this information more clearly visible in our website. DK, you want to comment on that? Briefly? Yeah, yeah, no, no, I agree completely, Anil. Uh, thanks for sharing that. Again, as Anil said, uh, I want to uh, second it. Uh, so we are just trying to facilitate it. Um, so all different kinds of connections between different organizations can take place. Um, uh, and uh, based on the synergy, based on the interest from different groups, they can work each other. And we'll be trying to enhance the websites with some additional information in the, in the next few weeks. Uh, so that will provide enough information for everybody to uh, move along.